so it's time to do a couple more tags. The two that I'm going to do are the 20th century book tag that Words of a Reader created and tagged me in, and the other one is the Infinite Book Challenge which I was tagged by Rincey Reads and Virtual Bookshelves. So the first tag I'm going to do is the 20th century book tag. And basically for this tag you just pick a book for each decade of the 20th century, whether it was published or written in that decade or set in that decade. And I pretty much mostly went with published since that's what was easiest for me to figure out using Goodreads. And I ended up picking mostly books that I haven't read and they're all books that I really want to read so now I kind of have this idea that I really want to read all of these books like now. But anyways, let's get on to the books. For the 1900s or the aughts, I picked A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett, which was published in 1905. This was one of my favorite movies growing up, and I did enjoy The Secret Garden as well as a movie and a book, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one eventually. For the 1910s, I chose My Antonia by Willa Cather. This was published in 1918. I don't really know a whole lot about this, just that it's supposed to be pretty good, and I definitely love the cover. It's a fairly short book, and I like that lately. For the 1920s, I actually ended up picking a book that I've already read but totally wouldn't mind rereading, and that is The Painted Veil by W. Somerset Mom. I don't really like this cover of the book because it is the movie cover, but I got it from a little free library, so pickers can't be choosers. It has been a few years since I've read the book, so I think it's time for a reread. The Painted Veil was published in 1925. For the 1930s, I went with Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. This was published in 1937. I don't know a whole lot about this book except just the general context of who the author is and the very, very general subject of it being about people of color. But again, a very beautiful cover, and definitely I'm sure it's an important book to read. For the 1940s, I chose I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. This was published in 1948. I also don't know very much about this book, but I've heard lots of good things about it. It's a lot of people's favorite books, so I'm eager to read this one. For the 1950s, I picked Lord of the Flies by William Golding. This was published in 1954. I haven't read it, I haven't seen the movie, I have been spoiled on the ending. For the 1960s, I chose A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin, which was published in 1968. I have mentioned this one recently in my paperback swap haul video, so that's all I'll say about it in this video. For the 1970s, I chose The Optimist's Daughter by Eudora Welty. This book showed up in Gilmore Girls, where I was reading it in her bed in the first few seasons, and that's really all I know about this book. There's definitely a trend here. I do know, however, that it was published in 1972. For the 80s, I chose The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. This was also one of my paperback swap books, and it was published in 1988, the year before I was born. And last but not least, the book from the 1990s. I chose A Very Long Engagement by Sebastian Jeperso. I loved the movie to this book, so I think I will really love the book as well. This was written in 1991. I don't know if I actually will read these books in the coming months, but it would be really interesting to read them in that order and just kind of see how the story and the settings uh, progress and change and yeah, I don't know. Be cool. So I'm actually filming this part first so I don't have the books in uh, the other tag in my head as I do this. So I have my iPod here, go to timer, and one minute. So here it is, um, and start. So, uh, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Northanger Abbey, Emma, Mansfield Park, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and 
The Deathly Hallows. Um, Wonderstruck, Convention of Hugo Cabret. <sighs> mm, like Water for Chocolate, The Virgin Suicides, Middlesex. Um, the Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Matilda. And uh, it, there it goes. Timer done. Uh, second late? Okay. So, I don't know how many I just counted, but I'll add that up in post. So, thanks to everyone who tagged me in these videos, and my deepest apologies for taking a year or two to complete them. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.